Hey everybody, welcome back to Avalon Payroll Template How-Tos. Um, this is the last video in the series and this one's going to cover how to file your T4s with this template, um, or at least where to gather the information. So uh, I'll show you, kind of walk through how to do that. Um, there is a detailed how-to, uh, web forms is best if you're gonna do it a CRA online, um, and that'll give you pay stubs and or um, T4s to distribute to your employees as well. So each year you're required to file your T4s and distribute them to your employees. Um, and uh, you're also, um, have a due date of the last day in February of each year. So um, yeah, I'll just walk you through how to do that. So in here, we've got uh, your T4 summary. Um, so as you've seen from our earlier videos, we have two employees. They are Art and Jane Vandalay. And uh, uh, Art is a um, salaried employee. He's our employee number one. And Jane is an hourly employee and she's our employee number six. Um, so these numbers will all pull through automatically from uh, the respective uh, tabs. Um, so we've got the gross salary, CPP, EI, all of that uh, in here. And uh, we'll see here as well that uh, Art did approach his maximum EI contribution uh, later in the year. So he had to top up with 2054 and then no EI paid in, um, in uh, the last pay period of December. Um, so uh, that's just a little note on those max amounts and how they uh, they work. Um, so here we've got um, gross pay, CPP, EI, all of that, the different boxes that these will go in, um, and just some notes here. So box 24, EI insurable earnings. Um, this is usually the same as box 14, um, but you can check the maximum. So if, if you see here, um, you know, Art's uh, maximum for EI um, is going to be over. So his uh, insurable earnings will be less than the 60,000. Um, but uh, for Jane, it's going to be the same for both. So that's just a little note there. Um, here we've got the remittance calculator, which is covered. So we've finished all our remittances now. Um, we've had our two uh, larger ones, which were uh, three pay periods in October and January. Uh, so covered that. And um, uh, now I've got my total uh, remittance amounts here and my total wages for the year. So I want to agree those to this just to make sure that we're talking about the same thing. Um, otherwise, you'll get a report back from CRA saying the numbers don't match. You remitted differently than you filed. Um, please tell us why. And that can be a bit of a hassle. So um, here you're going to have all your boxes, enter all those into um, to uh, the web forms or whatever other T4 filing service that you're using, um, but the numbers can be pulled right here. So step one, each year you have to file this uh, due date's last day of February. Number two, here's how. There's a link here on how to file them. Uh, number three, use this information to enter into uh, the how-to, and then uh, you can print and distribute your T4s before the last day of February of each year. And that's it. That's uh, uh, how it goes. And each year I would take a copy of this, um, start all over again, uh, and um, have it ready to go for the next year. You will want to update uh, the maximums and things, but uh, otherwise you're good to go. I hope you uh, enjoyed this series. Um, if you have any questions about this payroll template, uh, please let us know. Again, it's supposed to be for very simple use cases, uh, st uh, starting small businesses that uh, maybe are, are looking to do things a little more manually and save some money. Um, hopefully this is helpful for you, but uh, if, and if it was, please subscribe. I'm happy to see you on the channel and uh, answer any of your questions. So thanks so much. Take care.